All right, guys. Well, uh, I have here a 4L6T transmission that I'm finishing it up. Let's say that you already uh, worked on your valve body and uh, you already did your uh, 1870, whether it's an early model valve body or late model valve body. I have uh, both videos up. Uh, you can go to my channel and search for the 1870 uh, the transmission component slip and fix. So let's say that you're to the point that you already got your uh, valve body ready, ready for installation. It's already done and you just want to go ahead and uh, finish uh, the installation, install the valve body to the, to the transmission and that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so let's say that there's nothing on the case like you see here and uh, you're getting ready for installation. Well, in this hole right here, it's the 3-4 accumulator and we already have all of our bolts identified. So uh, the first thing we do, we uh, look for this pin and this pin goes inside that hole. This is the guide pin for the 3-4 accumulator piston. We already uh, lubed up the 3-4 uh, accumulator piston. We're going to put it back in the hole. It's already pre-lubed, so it should go uh, nice and smooth. We have our 3-4 uh, uh, accumulator uh, uh, piston return spring. And here in the case, it takes a check ball right here. So we're going to install one 5 16 uh, check ball. Just hold on just one second. Let me get a uh, little bit more light. All right, well, now that you have your uh, check ball installed, you have your 3-4 uh, uh, accumulator piston return spring, your guide pin, and the piston in there. Now, uh, we install our uh, spacer, spacer plate with valve body gaskets. All right, this, is, this being a 2005 model, you're going to find in your overhaul kit uh, two separate uh, valve body gasket sets and uh, 2001 and up takes the one with the uh, two letters on it. It says CA, CA mints case, and VB mints valve body. All right, so we put the uh, uh, valve body gasket case, the one which says the CA on it, on the case itself. Now, uh, I've already uh, pre-installed uh, two, uh, the, the two filters. That's the pressure control solenoid uh, filter screen, and that should be the uh, shift solenoids uh, screens. All right, so now we put our valve body uh, separator plate to valve body gasket. And what I do all the time, I got this uh, from an E4OD transmission, uh, and I use them as guide pins. So I'll put one here and one here. Okay. Now this little plate here that has uh, three bolt holes, just make sure that you install it and when you install it, make sure you tighten it up. It's three bolts. You use an eight millimeter socket to drive them in. Now we get our 1-2 accumulator piston. Already have the piston in there with both springs and a new uh, uh, leaf cut uh, seal in it. This goes here. And it takes one long bolt and two short bolts. Okay. Now we got our uh, wiring harness here. We've already got uh, two new O-rings. Just push it in the hole. Okay, now we're going to uh, go ahead and tighten up this bolt. Three eight millimeter. 310s. Then we get the two short, two short uh, lockup solenoid. This is the lockup, the on-off lockup solenoid. It goes to the pump. OK. 
Okay, I want to get my torque wrench right away. Let's see here. I'm going to do 108 inch pounds, which is 9 pounds actually. There we go. That's what we're going to torque our whole valve body to. 8 millimeter. You can use your, uh, uh, like a battery impact like I'm using now just to drive them in and then uh, torque them with your torque wrench. Okay, so here we have our valve body. Now we, uh, we are going to drop our uh, manual valve, not all the way in. Hold it, because uh, you're going to have to uh, lock the locking deal there. The one that moves the manual valve. Let's go ahead and take our guide pins off the case. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set the wiring harness here just to the side like that and with the plastic deal you, you can just uh, lock it in place there. That will be out of the way. Now we're going to get this little clip here. This right here. And this is how it goes. You put it in the in the hole, and you slide it. Not just get it there out of the way. Get it, get it, uh, get it nice and ready for installation. Now I'm gonna get my valve body, and I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold my va manual valve. I've already got my uh, seven check balls there. You flip it around. You lift up on the on the little rod, and you lock it in place. I know I got my uh, camera on the tripod and I mean you're not able to see here this but it has to uh, attach to the manual valve that you see there. Okay now I get my uh, pressure switch manifold assembly. I get my uh, three long uh, 10 millimeter bolts and kind of uh, guide them on there. Put a couple threads on them. And then I got two short bolts. They go here, one here. Earlier models, uh, 4L60Es, they take a, a dipstick stopper here. It's a little bracket that when you put the dipstick, it'll stop. It won't go all the way down into the bottom of the pan. The reason why they do that is because uh, if it goes all the way down, it will show like if it's over full or if it's full and it'll be like a uh, quart low. So they have a, a dipstick stopper. And this one here actually is built, the pan itself has a little cutout and the transmission pan is actually the dipstick stopper. This is a 2005 model, all right? Now these bolts, they have an eight millimeter head and these are longer than the rest of the valve body bolts. It is very important that you know where they go. They go right here in these three locations. If you put it somewhere else, if you put one of these long bolts here, what's going to happen is that the bolt is too long and it's going to go into one of, the, one of the slots in the sun gear shell and you're going to lock the shell and uh, you're not going to have any reverse. Okay, now let's go ahead and install the rest of the 10 millimeter bolts. Two eight millimeters, and remember, I had my guide pins one here and one here. These are the two bolts that are going to be tightened up first, and the reason why the the bolt holes are narrow narrower than the rest of the bolts, it kind of uh, centers the valve body. Okay, I'm not going all the way tight with it. Okay, let me 
me go down a little bit more on these. All right, let's go back to our torque wrench. Okay, let's do 108. Okay. So we tighten these two, these two bolts first. Then this one has the guide for the pressure switch manifold. You tighten that up next. That's the third bolt you tighten up. And then the center one. And then you want to just from the center out. I mean, that's, that's just the way I do it. A lot of people do it differently. Either way is fine. 4L60 are not as critical as some other units. You try to uh, over tighten bolts on a Ford uh, Explorer 2002 or 2003 and up, or any Explorer for that matter, you're going to have wrong gear starts. These transmissions are, are pretty tough though. You can over tighten them, all you're going to do is just break the bolt or strip it. It's still going to work. Okay, all of my 10 millimeters. Just recheck, make sure they're all torqued down. Once you compress the gasket, uh, it'll be a little bit uneven. So just go through them all, all over. Okay, let's do these three. Now let's do the eight millimeter. Okay. Just make sure that your pressure switch manifold is, is tight. Sometimes you might forget this, but you gotta keep in mind that there's a pressure switch down here and another pressure switch down here and a few of them there. So uh, if you leave these two bolts uh, not tight enough, uh, you may have some uh, pressure loss through one of these uh, pressure switches. There we go. All right, now we uh, install our D10 roller with the bolt. Actually, I use this, uh, this little D10 roller as a tool for uh, on a 70 w I actually have a video on that one using it as a tool. It's not a tool, it's a transmission part. Uh, I just use it as a tool. This one here, I don't even worry about torquing it. It just bolts up to the aluminum housing there on the, on the valve body. All right, so now we uh, plug everything up. We have a little tab right here. This little tab goes up underneath the uh, the pressure switch manifold. Connect our uh, two uh, shift solenoids, pressure switch manifold connector, pressure control solenoid or force motor, torque converter clutch PWM solenoid and the one that's bolted up to the case that, that the snout goes inside the pump and that's the torque converter clutch on off solenoid and this one here is our 3-2 uh, downshift solenoid okay so there we have it it's already a uh, valve body installation is done now we need to install our filter here A little bit up a little bit. There we go. Our pan gasket. This is our transmission pan. This is what I was talking to you about. 
This late models, as a matter of fact, they gave me the wrong filter. Now this transmission, uh, this transmission here takes a different type of filter. Let me see if I can find the old one. This is a deep pan filter, but it's the wrong one. The, the one we should use with this pan has a cutout here, and it allows the, the pan to sit in there, to sit correctly. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I've done threw that filter away. But it's a plastic, it's a completely, it's a complete plastic filter is the one that belongs here. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to install the pan. Actually, here's the cutout right here. You need this space uh, for it not to uh, interfere with your pan. See that? It's sitting on top of the filter. On the early models, you use this filter. It's actually 98 or 97 and up. When they uh, came out with a deep pan that has this little recess here, and uh, this is the this is the right filter for that. 04, 04 and up, I believe, is the one that came out with the uh, without the bracket and the indentation on the pan. So we need to get the correct, the right filter for this for this unit here. Anyways, the purpose of this video was the valve body installation. And as you see here, the next thing is the right filter actually. And once you install the correct filter, then you install the pan, fill it up with fluid, go for a test drive, and that's it, man. Uh, 1870, uh, P1870, trouble code P1870. I have uh, early and late mal uh, model valve body uh, to fix that code. This is uh, 2005, which is the late model valve body. I have both, go to my channel. Uh, you might need to subscribe to uh, kind of browse through all of my videos. But there you go, 4L60E valve body installation. Thank you for watching, guys.